In News 18 and speaking of war of words, well that continues between the BJP and the Congress with the latest after Rahul Gandhi's massive controversy over his remarks. In fact, this was made during his Bharat Jodo Yatra where his Shakti remark linking it with Hindu religion hasn't gone down too well with the BJP who have termed it as an insult to Hindu faith. Rahul Gandhi said and I quote that there is a word Shakti in Hinduism and his party is fighting and challenging that formidable force. The essence of governance, be it in the EV or other institutions like the ED, CBI and Income Tax Department embodies this force, unquote. Hitting back at Rahul Gandhi, Prime Minister Modi during his rally in Telangana earlier in the day said that India bloc has vowed to destroy Shakti, whereas his party has vowed to protect the Shakti that he sees in every woman of the nation. Hindu dharma शक्ति शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं और उन्होंने कहा है कि उनकी लड़ाई शक्ति के खिलाफ है मेरे लिए हर मां शक्ति का रूप है घोषणा पत्र जाहिर किया और उन्होंने कहा है कि उनकी लड़ाई शक्ति के खिलाफ है मेरे लिए हर मां शक्ति का रूप है ये लड़ाई एक तरफ शक्ति के विनाश के लोग करने वाले लोग हैं दूसरी तरफ शक्ति की पूजा करने वाले लोग हैं मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूपा माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा मुकाबला चार जून को हो जाएगा कौन शक्ति का विनाश कर सकता है और कौन शक्ति के आशीर्वाद प्राप्त कर सकता है इसका मुकाबला चार जून को हो जाएगा Pallavi Ghosh and Payal joins us for more on this. Pallavi, the Prime Minister there hitting back and confronting Rahul Gandhi on that Shakti remark. Uh, you know, we have seen the Prime Minister who's known for his great oratorical skills, uh, giving an entire spin to this controversy. But Rahul Gandhi, I wanted to know from you, what are you hearing from the Congress Party High Command from uh, the President? How are they reacting to Rahul Gandhi's Shakti remark, which is now drawing a lot of criticism in a lot of... Uh, you know, political quarters. Well, damage control had already begun from the Congress party. I mean, Mr. Kharge was the one of the first ones early this morning to defend and explain what Rahul Gandhi tried to say. But more than that, is a very strong response which came in from Pawan Kheda, who's the spokesperson of the Congress party and mm -hmm. media head as well. And there also he made a distinction between uh, the Shakti, the one is of course Ma Shakti and the, the other one is Asur Ki Shakti. And what he's trying to explain is that Rahul Gandhi was actually talking about Asur Shakti. But this is a damage control which I'm afraid may not really go down very well. It may not completely work. And that damage has already been done. And not just to the BJP but most specifically the Prime Minister was quick to take on the point. So there are two issues and two points on which now Rahul Gandhi and the Congress are being attacked. One, uh, for a sense of uh, being anti-Hindu right. but what perhaps could hurt it more politically speaking of the misogyny thing Nari Shakti, woman power, woman votes matters a lot to every political party and, Pallavi, and including uh, the you know, Congress that perhaps may Karnataka. have been the big issue there isn't it? Pail, I'll just come to you Pallavi, uh, the fact that he has correlated it, he is linked it to Hinduism, he is linked it to religion which is such an emotive, emotive subject in our country uh, is perhaps which has not gone down too well with the BJP who have only sharpen their attack. It seems that he has just served this on the platter for the government ahead of the polls. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say that you know it's happened in a state like Karnataka mm -hmm. and Karnataka is one of the successful experiments of the Congress party along with Himachal Pradesh where the woman card was played very strongly. One of the main campaigners was Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. One of the few states in which Sonia Gandhi went and campaigned. She was the one who announced that scheme putting money directly into accounts of the women and even if we take a quick look at the manifesto which the Congress party is going to finalize tomorrow it dwells a lot on woman empowerment Nari Shakti. That's the whole which is being pricked by the Prime Minister when he says they may talk about it but they have scant regard for Shakti or Main kabhi aisa hone nahi dunga. So that is going to be the next electoral slogan or the calling card of the BJP to attack the Congress.
Interesting. Payal, this Shakti seems to have emboldened the Prime Minister. Uh, in fact, it seems to have given more steam to his uh, attack on the opposition, wherein he completely changed things around and saying that he is here to protect the Shakti that he sees in every woman of the nation. Well, after Modi ka parivar, Kaun or Mehu Modi ka parivar kind of a jive that the BJP actually took at the Congress party, this is fresh ammunition. That is coming their way and probably it's going to be at that moment that of the Chokidar Chore of 2019. Because the BJP will go to the nook and corner of the country, tell the people of the country that this is what the Congress party really does. This is the kind of politics that they really play. And the question that the Congress party is going to be asked by the BJP is that you have very strong women. Like Rahul Gandhi has often said that there are very strong women in his life. Does he not have respect for anybody? Does he not have respect for any woman as well? And how did he really make this comment A against women and secondly against Hindutva? So that's the pitch on which the Congress party will find itself, you know, ducking what the BJP is really saying. Uh, it's, a, it's a bitter battle between uh, the Congress and the BJP in the run-up to the 2024 elections. And the attack has been mounted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. So it's going to get more and more bitter in the days and weeks to come. But a lot of questions being asked of not just Congress party, but also the alliance partners who were there on the stage, whether it's MK Stalin, Sharad Pawar, Udav Thakre amongst the others as well, saying, how did you really, you know, not say anything about what Rahul Gandhi really say? Why did nobody even stop him from saying that? And when it suits Rahul Gandhi, then he goes to temples and he plays that Hindutva card. Hmm. And the BJP often been saying that he plays that Chunavi Hindutva card, that it suits him as well. But at the core of his heart, probably Rahul Gandhi has no respect for the uh, Hindutva, uh, uh, you know, the Hindutva of the country. And that, uh, neither does he have any respect for women in, his, uh, in, in the country. That's something which is going to be uh, the, uh, the line of attack as far as the BJP is really concerned. And women are very, very formidable. They are right. a formidable force to reckon with. And we've seen them turn around elections, whether it was in Bihar, 2020 or even Madhya Pradesh last year. Well, MK Stalin's son, uh, Udenidhi Stalin, also found himself in the dock. In fact, he was pulled up by the Madras <laughs> High Court for his comments uh, over Sanatan Santa. Stay on with me. Uh, there are a lot of political reactions that are coming in right now. Pail and Pallavi, I'll just come to you. Let's play out those political voices. इटली के विदेशी चश्मे से राहुल गांधी भारत को देख रहे हैं और देश के इंस्टीट्यूट्स को देश के सनातन को देश के धर्म को हिंदू धर्म को बदनाम करने की भ्रम पैदा करने की नापाक कोशिश लगातार कर रहे हैं कभी सेना का अपमान करते हैं कभी धर्म का अपमान करते हैं कभी देश का अपमान करते हैं देश की संस्थाओं का अपमान करते हैं सेना स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों का अपमान करते शहीद सैनिकों का अपमान करते जो शक्ति राहुल जी ने बना बताया मैं तो खुलकर बताऊंगा ये जो शक्ति कहने की शब्द है मोदी जी के पास आर की शक्ति आरएसएस की आइडियोलॉजी मनुवाद ये उनकी शक्ति है इस शक्ति से इस विचारधारा से हमको कुचलना चाहते हैं Palavi, do you think that this latest remark by Rahul Gandhi has uh, in a way backfired? Has this attack misfired for the Congress party and uh, taken the wind out of the opposition sails? Well, it's a lengthy election and the counting is only going to take place on 4th June. So the Congress party can only hope that a public memory is short and people are going to forget about it. But BJP is not a political party which is known to give up on issues, especially those which they get on the platter. I mean, my quick example is that of Lalu Prasad Yadav's comment, which is going to run through the entire campaign. Uh, similarly, in 2019, Chokidar Chorhe, it was one comment which ran through the entire campaign. So I think even this, there will be attempts being made by the BJP to keep the issue alive. I mean, I'm, there's quite a possibility that a BJP's Mahila wing is activated wherever the Prime Minister goes or the women leaders of the BJP are activated. They are fielded to make the point that this is a misogynist mindset of the Congress party. I mean, apart from the religious angle, which we all are aware of, there's also a woman angle to all of this. And the more the Congress manifesto wants to focus on Nari Shakti and woman empowerment, the more the BJP will build up a counter against this by raising this political issue. And it's not just a Congress, mind you, Avantika, it's also going to be the rest of the India Front allies who may have to bear the heat of this. Oh, absolutely. And Payal, trust the BJP not to be left behind, ready with a counter-attack. We saw the Prime Minister himself hitting out at Rahul Gandhi, giving a complete spin to the word Shakti, saying how he sees Shakti in women and how he's out there to protect the women of this nation. So, expect a lot of, uh, you know, jibes thrown at each other as we move towards uh, the election dates. 
only going to get more and more bitter. The attack is only going to get stronger from here on. Given the fact that the prime minister in a short while from now will also be addressing a rally in Karnataka, where he is expected to make the same jab, make the same remark as well. He is going to be the one who is going to be leading the attack uh, against the Congress Party in particular. With the fact that he has spoken about his government's work for the women empowerment, the women reservation bill, which everybody spoke about, was uh, became a reality under his leadership under his government as well. So we can expect this. To become the moment as far as 2024 elections are concerned, in 2014 it was the Chai Wala Jai. In 2019 it was the Jai of Chokidar Chowra, and probably this is the moment of 2024. The BJP will make this, milk this opportunity, and how? And they're going to take it to every nook and corner of the country. And of course, with the BJP fronting many, many women leaders, many leaders are ministers in the Modi government. They'll actually tell you that this is what empowerment really means, and not what Rahul Gandhi has been saying, but. The damage control coming in from the Congress party is too little, too late. That's what the BJP has been saying, uh, Amantika. In fact, this remark has already earned him a few labels with the BJP now calling Rahul Gandhi a Hindu phobic and a misogynist. Uh, let's play out some more political reactions. पिछले दस साल में वो कठुआ हो, वो उन्नाव हो, वो कानपुर हो, वो हाथरस हो, हमने देखा किस तरह से इस सरकार ने और इस सरकार के पीछे बैठी आसुरी शक्ति ने महिलाओं की प्रताड़ना की तब प्रधानमंत्री की शक्ति उपासना कहां गई थी जब महिला पहलवान उनके घर के बाहर अपने मेडल छोड़ रही थी विरोध कर रही थी घर के भीतर ब्रिजभूषण शरण सिंह को बैठाने वाले आज शक्ति की उपासना की बात करते हैं मणिपुर में जब महिलाओं को नंगा दौड़ाया जा रहा था तब कहां थी आपकी शक्ति की उपासना यह चुनाव तय करेगा कि यह देश दैवी शक्ति से चलेगा या आसुरी शक्ति से चलेगा राहुल गांधी जी फिरोज खान के पोते हैं और मुगलों का हमेशा भारतीय संस्कृति पे कुटारघात रहा है वो इनके खून के अंदर है इनको ये मालूम नहीं है भारतीय संस्कृति भारतीय शक्ति और पूर्वजों के तुम्हारे पूर्वजों ने बड़े प्रयास कर लिए इसको दबाने के लिए अनंत काल से चली आ रही है अनंत काल तक ये चलने वाली है इसलिए आप कोई भी रूप ले लो संसाधनों में पहला का माइनॉरिटी का है उस प्रकार का व्यवहार करने वाले आज हिंदू को गाली बकने वाले लगातार वो प्रयास कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये शक्ति जितने भी आप इसको विरोध करोगे शक्ति पुनः बढ़ेगी और जहाँ तक ई में ई की बात है आप निर्धारित करें कि हिमाचल का चुनाव कैसे हुआ आप निर्धारित करें इस बात का कि कर्नाटक का चुनाव तेलंगाना का चुनाव कैसे जीते आप पूरे देश का मुद्दा हो गया है कि राजा की जान ई में राजा की जान ई डी इनकम टैक्स में ई डी इनकम टैक्स के मारे या उससे डरे हुए तमाम लोग या तो घर बैठ जा रहे हैं या तो बीजेपी ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं या राजनीति से हटी जा रहे हैं तो डर तो सता रहा है सबको This is the unbridled hatred that Congress and India Alliance has for Hinduism. We all know that Udayanidhi Stalin called for elimination of Sanatan. A Raja said that he is fighting Bhagwan Prabhu Shri Ram. No action was taken on that. Series of India Alliance members have said Hindu dharm is a dhoka, potassium cyanide is what is Ram Charit Manas, and now Congress Party, which has a long history of Hindu hatred from denying existence of Prabhu Ram, Hindu terror. Hindutva is like ISIS and Boko Haram makes this statement about Shakti. In a manner, he is trying to denigrate the gods and goddesses of Hindu faith. Okay, so the BJP taking strong exception to the choice of words used by Rahul Gandhi uh, while he was addressing that rally. And uh, Pallavi, I just wanted to ask you that this is the election season. Every word will be under investigation. It will be closely scrutinized. Going further from now on, what is going to be the strategy of the Congress Party to take on the BJP? Because here, the word Shakti, uh, when you think about it in Hindu religion, it, it denotes a power of uh, Ma Durga. But here, perhaps the BJP. be taking strong exception that this particular word has been connected to corruption and deceit 
Well, politically speaking, I think the Congress's counter has already begun because to the BJP's attacks on it being anti-woman and anti-Hindu is also started talking about Bridge Bhushan. Uh, when we saw the Wrestlers Association in Haryana, the women one actually objecting and taking to the streets. They are also talking about Manipur. But will these issues be strong enough to counter the narrative which has already been pushed by the BJP? I guess only time is going to tell uh, because politics is also about looking at a larger national and aggressive picture. In terms of that the BJP has taken and stolen a head start. Congress, of course, is giving its defences and as a political party, I guess they do have a right to do so. And the argument that they're giving is that when, Prime, uh, when Rahul Gandhi was talking about Shakti, he was actually not referring to Ma Durga or Parvati. He was re referring to the power or the Shakti of the Asur or the demon. And th that's the explanation which comes in from Pavan Kheda. Uh, but again, I mean, the damage has been done. The BJP has upped the ante and they are the first ones who are pushing ahead. So let's see how long it lasts.